guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I'm gonna show you how to build and connect a PC arcade like this one. And step one is to go to an arcade service center. Usually they're throwing out old arcades. You could probably get a cabinet for maybe around 50 to 100 bucks. I know this because I used to work for a pinball arcade repair center. Step two, get any old PC that has at least one gigahertz processor. Next step is take off the back cover on the arcade. I replaced the tube CRT monitor with an LCD monitor. And I got my Dell PC speakers where I was not using the sound system. And this is a subwoofer and two speakers, left and right speakers. It should sound pretty good in my PC arcade. Next thing you want to do is get your wire harness from your joystick and your buttons on the front panel and connect it to this I.O. board. It's an IPAC I.O. board. Basically what this does, it converts the joystick functions to the keyboard functions and it goes to your PC. And then you want to connect your keyboard. So I'm going to plug in my keyboard right in here. And then I'm going to plug in the other part of this connector to my PC. So this plug is connected to my PC. And then what this does is all my functions, my left, up, down, right, and my A, B, C, start button, even the coin slot is all converted to this chip and goes out to my PC. Let's go ahead and start it and see if it works. So what I did here is I mounted the PC speakers right upside down in the front of the arcade. So it's easier to turn on and off. If you want the PC arcade to boot up right into your game, click on the start button, go to all programs, and then you want to go to startup. Copy and paste the shortcut to the startup, and then when every time you start up your computer, it'll go right into that game. Now I'm using a program called MAME, M-A-M-E, and it's free. But you can use pretty much any game to make this work. So let's start a game. Now before you do anything, the buttons and the joysticks are not configured. They're not programmed yet. To do that, you have to hit tab. So this pulls up the service menu in the main. All right, next thing you want to do is do general, input for general. And go ahead and use your keyboard and hit enter. All right, next, what you want to do is, using your keyboard, you want to go down and go configure player one and hit enter. Now to program the buttons and the joystick to the program main, or any other game system you're using, you want to go ahead and follow the instructions. Player one up, you want to go ahead and hit enter, and then hit up on the player one joystick. All right, even though it says right arrow, don't even ignore that, because in the program, the program is going to see that command as up. So when you go ahead and press up on the joystick, even though it's right arrow on the keyboard, it's gonna, the program's gonna recognize it as up on player one. It says player one down. When it says player one down on, over here on the left, go ahead and hit enter, and then it's gonna wait for your command. Press down on player one joystick. And you just follow that pattern all the way down for player one and player two and so on. Now, now this is how it works. You go right, left. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions how to build this PC arcade, go ahead and post a comment below and I'll try to answer it the best I can.
You can also um, hit me up on Google Helpouts if you have any questions how to build a PC Arcade. You can do a video chat with me. Uh, there's promo code Paul51P and it gives you a free Google Helpout. I'll leave that link below in the video description if you're interested. And don't forget to share this if you, if you know anyone that might be interested in building a PC Arcade, go ahead and share this to Facebook or G+. And don't forget to like and subscribe if, if you haven't subscribed already.